Hey, how's it going, you guys? Uh, we got we got a new star sh star owner of the show now. His name is uh, what's his name? Gerard. His name is Gerard. We just recently just caught him. Um, he's pretty chill. He didn't squeal or nothing whenever we caught him. He just kind of fell out the tree. We just kind of grabbed him out of there, but he's chilling. He's he's enjoying the life, and he's gonna. Oh, I think he's about to poop. But he's helping us uh, with the E30. Uh, we just pulled out the, the old subframe. The little, the little knob in the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. He just helped us pull out the subframe out of the E30. Uh, we cleaned her up. I don't know whether what I want to do with this, kind of try to fix it, I don't know. But uh, we have the new one over there. That one's cleaned up and ready to be put in. We just want to weld the the reinforcement plate for from Garagistic onto there and over here before we toss her in the car. But uh, he's gonna he's gonna be a pretty, he's gonna be a really good help and uh, he's gonna he's gonna help us a lot. So. Oh yeah, he said yeah. He, look, he likes vibing with the music that I'm playing right now. Mm -hmm. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay. But we should put him back. Uh, I think his mom is trying to peck our eyeballs out but we'll, we'll find a way to put them back up in the tree so Yo, hey, how's it going, you guys? I hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody's doing okay. This is the the post day of Formula Drift. Uh, there's a lot of things that that I haven't been posting a lot, but there's been a lot of things that happen. Like the E30 is not in my house right now, and it's currently on the side of the road. Uh, yeah, so let me just play this clip. 
Now I'm about to enter right here. That's literally what happened on Friday, heading back from Formula. Thank God it happened at my friend's house and not at the track or over at Atlanta Motor Speedway because then I would have been really catch out and fucked. So yeah, uh, let me just play that clip real quick. But other than that, we got some really cool ass stuff. Um, like for example, this Rays shirt, we got this Rays shirt from Formula. Then we got a lot of parts to install. Like I got this NRG quick, re quick release. Um, got, got that from Drift HQ and thank you Duarte for for it and all your co all the workers that were there. But yeah, we got a cool oil slick um, Drift HQ banner to go on the front or in the rear. I think I'm gonna put it in the rear. But um, yeah, like let's take a look at this quick release. It's carbon fiber one, so it doesn't ding that. Um, they told me that they don't make the, the ding ones anymore because they they don't want to make it for that and they don't They don't make them no more So they released these These are super nice. It comes with like all the hardware I assume and all this and all the stickers and love But yeah, like take a look at this. This thing's freaking nice. This thing's beautiful But um, I'm getting Adam steering wheel. I don't know when that's coming in um, I'm actually still waiting for it. I'm kind of weirded out because it said it was shipped, but it hasn't came in yet, and it's been two days. And um, usually it says it's um, three day shipping, so I don't know what's going on. But um, we got some cool stuff. We got some BC racing stuff. We got a NGK a flexible straw. And then uh, I got this BC Racing jacket from the tent. This is pretty sick. I love this. It feels so nice. It's like a little sweatshirt. I get, it's like water resistant. And then um, I'm trying to see what else I got because I, I know I got some other stuff. But um, yeah, I got this. It was either this or the Hydro. But the, um, the only reason why I didn't get the Hydro is because I really like buying. If, I, if I'm going to buy something like at a stand or something like that, like, you know, like this. Um, it's something I, I would like to ready to install, but since they didn't have the, the lines and, um, for the, um, for the E30, um, I just kind of, um, went with the, with the quick release hub because I'm getting a new steering wheel. So it'd be, it would basically freshen the whole look and everything like that. So, um, super glad soaked on that to install that. And, um, yeah, um, I just, I just kind of like getting things on hand if I get something like, you know, if I got the, like if I got the hydro and then I got the lines with it, that'll be sick because then I can literally install it like today or tomorrow. Uh, while there, you know, you have to wait a couple days and then, then install it, then get this or, you know, like if I would have bought the hydro, I would have had to wait like three days for it. And I would just rather like to install it the day after or something like that, you know. But, um, yeah, let's just, I guess, get dressed and let's go get the E30. I don't learn how to use the gimbal. We're going to give it 60 seconds. So now that we're waiting for the car to charge for a little bit, we're going to let it, let it charge for 60 seconds, which that's what the the thing uh, says for so we're just gonna get it real quick just for a, for a quick start and uh, hopefully she sounds not too bad um, I'm just really hoping she doesn't sound terrible if she does then FML I gotta go get me exhaust bolt it on you know what I'm probably gonna do it myself DIY at work Hey, how's it going, you guys? Uh, it's a different day. Um, it is May 16th, I think, today. It is probably around like 7 o'clock. Um, 
we finally got the dip we finally got the rear subframe we've been needing one lately because of the damage that we have on the differential uh, mounts um, but it's, now that I have the the subframe let's get the let's get the one that's in the E30 out and put this one in and hopefully we can fix the diff cover we have and hopefully we can slap this this diff cover back on and uh, hopefully it will work and hopefully it don't leak and hopefully she works fine.